Arguably two of the most important characters in Tommy's empire and Peaky Blinders as a whole are Polly Gray and her son, Michael Gray. They have a bigger impact than we initially realised. The beginning of the end. The significance of Polly and Michael Gray. This video is dedicated to Helen McCrory, our pole, who remains one of the most layered and best characters, not just in Peaky Blinders, but in the whole of television. Let's run through the timeline. From the first series, Polly is shown to hold a high level position in the Shelby firm. She seems to be one of the only characters that can actually get through to Tommy, an ability which is unique and makes her a very powerful ally and a dangerous enemy. Now Tommy is answerable to no one, he has no limitations. But I don't think it's 100% true. I think in some cases Tommy is answerable to Polly. They definitely hold a level of mutual respect for each other and in some cases seem a lot like equals. The concept of Polly having two children of her own who were taken from her, is introduced very early on. This concept would be explored further when Michael is introduced and brought into the show. Almost from the off, Michael gains a relatively high up position in the Shelby hierarchy, helping Tommy become legal. Now, of course, he gets this role because of being Polly's son. Now, Michael's 17, almost 18, when he's brought into the family which is a prime age to start learning the rules of the game. And we will see a natural progression throughout the following seasons of where this will lead, which I'm going to elaborate on. Michael witnesses the importance of his mother and the rest of the Shelby family pretty quickly. The scene that springs to mind is after realising who the two young lads are at the bar, being Michael and Isaiah and who they're related slash linked to, the mention of Polly Gray and the Peaky Blinders fills the pub with terror, completely changing the atmosphere, which then teaches Michael he's able to operate on a different level. This leads to Michael soon getting a taster of the other side of the business, what John and Arthur Shelby get up to during the events of Series 3. Now, we've know-how and, and knowledge of both sides of the Peaky Blinders business, Michael could become a point of interest that could either go for or against Tommy. During Series 4, due to spiring events, Michael is sent down a path not of his own choosing. Polly sells out Tommy. Now, she does this to try and protect Michael, but in return, Michael has now sort of become somewhat of a liability because of this deal. And of course, Luca Trangretta flips that and makes Michael choose between his mum or Tommy. Of course, Michael chooses his mum and neglects to tell Tommy of the attempt on his life. But now the cracks are starting to show because now Tommy can't completely trust Michael, therefore he sends Michael to deal with business in America. Michael's still under the Shelby Company Limited, but he now has the room to go and make his own allies, own enemies. Now Michael has the room to grow slash evolve on his own. So after Michael returns from America, he puts plans forward to take over the family firm from Tommy. With his new contacts he's made through his new wife, Gina. It's official. Michael and Tommy now have opposing views and opposing agendas. The only person that's able to keep them in line and to stop them from destroying each other is Polly. Now, of course, this is Series 5. I, I don't know what the original plan was before Helen McCrory's passing. Plus, we had the COVID pandemic, which changed plans. But what we got in Series 6 does feel like a natural progression. The only person that can keep Tommy and Michael from destroying each other 
has now gone. From this analysis, we've seen the divide between Tommy and Michael. Michael distanced himself unwillingly at first from Tommy and the rest of the Shelbys. But now they're on opposing sides. These characters are still, however, linked because of their grief and their loss towards Polly Gray. Throughout the final season, Polly's presence is still felt. And that's just simply because she's not there anymore. There's now an empty space where she should be to support Tommy and Michael. And that just proves how much of a big impact she had on this series. Now we all know what happened to Michael at the end of the last series of Peaky Blinders. Now both Polly and Michael have gone. Now we haven't seen enough of Tommy and the rest of the family without Michael and Polly's presence yet. I think the tone might be completely different because they are such major characters that are now gone. But then again, much like Polly in series six, their presence might still be felt throughout the next installment, be the movie, simply by them not being there. Those two characters have had such a big impact on Peaky Blinders, bigger than we initially realized. They're a part of what made the show really great. And not only that, but the characters were able to move major plot threads through throughout the whole series, from series one to six. Polly Gray and Michael Gray are two very important characters in Peaky Blinders, and I wanted to make this video to just so I could talk about them. And the great thing about Peaky Blinders is everything's so interconnected. Um, you, there's so much you could talk about, which, which makes the show great. And Polly and Michael were just two parts of, of this. If you enjoyed what you saw here today, feel free to subscribe for similar content. If there was a particular video or section of the video you liked, let me know by liking or commenting on the video. Your likes and comments could influence the next topic I talk about. Thanks for watching.